Okay, when you see glue on a block, it's like, what's going on? Last night, Derek saw my story on Instagram of this kitchen that was ending right up against this post. It was butting up against it. And he's like, what are you doing? He's like, well, why not incorporate just the, uh, the post into the whole kitchen? He's like, well, I thought about it and I was agonizing her. Like, and I was worried about how the countertop would go around the post. I was like, not sure how that would work out. So he was talking to me through how like the countertop would just encapsulate the whole post and just go ahead and go the whole way around this post so it looks more seamless and doesn't give funky little corners for cobwebs and you name it. So that is what I'm doing. First thing Saturday morning, ripping my hard work apart from last night. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around the post instead, which will Derek's right, it'll look better. <laughs> okay, there we have it, mistake fixed. Now, the block goes all the way around and completely encapsulate this post. It'll be one seamless look without any funky corners. How about it, Chase? Okay, mission accomplished. I now have this whole post encapsulated inside of the outdoor kitchen itself. Over here I have a mock-up of the actual height and I'm struggling a little bit to get uh, this corner done because I'm going to set the green egg in here and the cap that the green egg is going to set on is not here yet. So I was calling them asking them what the thickness is of it. Hopefully that was right. I'm just doing some measurements to see like at what level I need to set that piece of cap on there that the green egg will sit on so it ends up being the correct height once the, once the countertop's on. So I'm just going as far as I can, kind of avoiding this section right here. Right here I have a cutout for um, access doors and drawers. And right here's a cutout for a trash can. And then everything else is just blocked. So I'd like to get the whole full height built all the way around the back and around here. And just kind of leave this undone here for the green egg so I can get as far as I can. But I got like an hour left and then we gotta head out. It is my wife and I's anniversary, number eight. So we're heading out to Pittsburgh for, you for a few days. So can't overrun that deadline. Alrighty guys, the fun part, putting in the Cawthorn, these are Unilock Cawthorn pavers, and we're putting them in as an accent, and I just cut them so I have a corner. Beautiful. Ooh, awesome. I'm all about accents and contrast, and that's what we're doing here. What's rocking, people? So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this outdoor kitchen here behind my house, right here. It's about three quarters done. I'm gonna show you kind of like uh, how I marked it out. Took my time to make sure that I got the dimensions exactly right so I could do this thing with minimal amount of cuts. I didn't wanna see any tiny little sliver pieces in there. And uh, so anyway, built that in, started cutting out the squares for the appliances. And uh, right now I have these Copthorn paver. What's that? The deer ate the plants. The deer ate the plants? Yeah. No, the deer ate inside of it. Oh my goodness. You guys eat. Okay. So right now I got this uh, copthorn paper in here as an accent and it's all glued in, but they're not absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna take a straight edge here and a grinder and just make sure that all of these are perfectly straight before I put this last course of block on and then it'll be ready for countertops after that. So let's uh, cue up the time lapse. What's up guys? This is probably weekend seven or eight here in this backyard project behind my house. I'm working on building in the green egg grill into this outdoor kitchen. So I have this like L-shaped outdoor kitchen here and the green egg is sitting over there right now. And my wife is not happy with its current location. So <laughs> I'm working on finishing this today and uh, basically I built this shelf. This is a big natural stone slab of 30 inch by 30 inch cap and I'm working it into this kitchen. The green egg will sit in there and I'm returning this wall, which is a little bit of a challenge because it's not very wide and I have to make all kinds of funky cuts and joints, but uh, I'm returning it back into there and I'll be doing the same thing here so that when it's all done and all complete, it doesn't look weird without having, with just having like black holes behind the, what would have been the normal wall. It'll look like it'll return as it should have. Then I have to take this angle iron here 
and build these bridges across these appliances, this trash can and these drawers, so that I can continue building out across the top of them without it, uh, yeah, those angle irons need to be in there to support it. So that's what I'm working on today. I'll kick this thing over to time lapse and let you watch. And there we go, she's done, finally. Okay, so now the green egg is officially in its resting place. And it looks amazing there. Hey, what do you think, Daniela? Happy about that? Not done yet. <laughs> what else do you want? <laughs> Lego way. Countertops. We're just getting cardboard for countertops on this, all right? Good morning. It is the first week of December, and I am finally putting a little bow on top of our project in our backyard. That is putting the countertop on top of our outdoor kitchen. So we've been pretty well wrapped up with that project for the last uh, two months now, but that countertop took a while to come in. And then once it came in, I was too busy to install it. So today is the day. And I got my helper here. All right, Chase? Yeah. Ready to go install it? Let's go try out Ben's new truck here. Wow, we. That's our countertop. Wow. Now let's go install it by hand, hard, hard. Nice toolboxes from Martins. Let's get a strap on this thing. Wow, good throw. Oh yeah, thanks. That makes it tight. There you go. Then how, then how do you? That ain't going anywhere. I saw a post recently that said that you have to say that after you strap a load down. That ain't going anywhere. And you get bonus points if somebody pulls on the strap and says, uh, yep, that ain't going anywhere. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, we are ready. Countertop is in the house. Beautiful, beautiful natural stone. Can't wait to see what it looks like on installed. Wow, shiny, shiny. This is where it's all going. I'm kind of wishing I would have just installed a fridge in there or at least an access door right away because I know what's gonna happen is about uh, two, three years from now after I get over the pain of spending the money on this, I'm gonna be like, man, I wish I had another appliance in there and there's gonna be a perfect spot there to do it. Electricity there to do it. And uh, I'm gonna have to cut a hole in there. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I am going to quickly install some of these whack lights in the outdoor kitchen before anybody gets here to help me lift that big thing up into the, uh, onto the counter here. So have about 45 minutes or so before anybody shows up. Should have those lights in by then. Okay, all the lights are in, wired up, hooked up, checked, good to go. Win is here ready. Still waiting on the rest of the guys to show up to bring this slab in and lay it in. Exciting stuff. All right, we're ready to make it happen. We got the little piece in already. That's the big piece. All right, just got back from taking Matt's truck back and feeding pizza to the guys and uh, countertop is in. It is beautiful. Overall, pretty happy how it went in. For some reason, I need to go back and check the drawing, but they, we had a quarter inch play around this post. For some reason, all the play is on the, this side, half an inch there and nothing there. So I need to go check to see if that was my drawing or if that was the company that cut this out. I'm pretty sure it was the company that cut this out because I measured this like a dozen times before I sent it out to them. So <laughs> we'll find out. But I'm gonna cut the sink in now. I put it in here temporarily. Finish off that silicone around the edge once it gets hard. I'll cut it with a utility knife. And uh, we are done. Cherry's on top, driven on top of this project. Wowee. Boy, does that look nice. <laughs>